Good morning from Gorakshep, Nepal, also known as the highest inhabited village in the world at 5,170 meters. It is day 10 of our Everest base camp trek. Yesterday we made it to base camp. We have made it to Everest base camp. It feels so good to be here. Woo! So we're beginning our descent down today and we have sort of an insane plan. We are going to try and make it to Namche today, which is 20 miles from here. It took us six days to get where we are now from Namche. So it is a lofty goal, but it's mostly downhill, so it's doable. We think, let's see if we can do it. I cannot stress enough how nice it was to take the route we did. That's the less traveled route. We only saw a few people the whole time. This trail is covered in people right now. The weather has cleared up quite nicely this morning. It is sunny and 62 degrees and I'm in short sleeves, which feels so good after nine days. Our flight from Lukla to Kathmandu leaves in exactly two days from right now, which means we have a day and a half of trekking to get to Lukla and make our flight back. It took us nine days to get up here from Lukla. So the challenge is big, but I think we're up for it. Feeling surprisingly good today. We had a really long, tough day yesterday, but we were able to rest really well. And we're only two miles in, but feeling strong. Hopefully we can keep this up. We are five miles in now and we've just come to the Tokla Pass, which is a memorial ground for those who have lost their lives climbing Everest. There are hundreds of memorial stones here and it's just a really sobering feeling being here. seen before. We're actually going down the main EBC trail that most people come up. And so we're just coming to our first village right now of Pariche. This is actually the village of Tukla. We stopped for a quick water break. Pariche is two hours away and we're gonna stop there for lunch. Eight miles in, it's about noon. We've made it to the town of Pariche. Pariche in Nepali means halfway. So technically we're halfway to Namche, according to DLOC. So we're making good time. We drive here about six hour normal walk, but our speed around five. Five hours to Namche? Five, five okay, hours. not bad. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at these little baby yaks. Yeah. This place is fancy. Port of Himalaya. We're the only ones here. Nice. Wow, I haven't seen a village this stocked with snacks and drinks in a long time. Yeah. <laughs> got ourselves a little feast here. What's on the menu today? We've got fried noodles and veggies with an egg on top oh. and actual napkins. Not pressed, but actual napkins. <laughs> Oh, this looks good. After lunch,
bunch of got very cold and very windy, but we just hit 10 miles. So we should be more than halfway there. This is saying seven hours to Namche. We're gonna do it in four. four. Yeah. Four hours. We got this. Yeah, the same speed. We got the same speed. Yeah. Seen a lot of baby animals today. That's the cutest little horse. Just arrived in another village called Shomare. We have one more village till Tangbuche. I love this. Every village has one of these solar heaters and they all put teapots on top of it. Best way to heat the water. We just reached 14,000 feet in elevation and officially back at the point where trees can grow again. It's crazy how even just dropping a couple thousand feet, I can already feel like I'm breathing so much better. We made a little friend that's been following us for the last mile or so, showing us the way. What's this uphill stuff, man? It's supposed to only be downhill. we were going to be seeing so many animals today but it's a welcome surprise here's some musk deer We just hit 15 miles on our trek. Just did a huge uphill climb that took a lot of energy out of me. Before that, I was totally optimistic we could make it to Namche. We're coming up on the village of Tangbuche right now. d -Lock said we could stay here if we're feeling tired. It sounded more tempting, but I also really want to accomplish our goal. Everything's kind of sore right now. Shoulders, neck, back, legs. But we're gonna take a quick break here. And I think we'll be good to go after that. We're coming up on the Tangboche Monastery, which looks really, really cool. I just ate the most killer apple pie at this lodge. I have new energy, I'm ready to go. We're gonna take a look at this monastery real quick and then hit the road. Five more miles. We got this. That was too fast. Go, 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 go. We gotta beat him. He's catching up. No, Dawa. He's too fast. 
He has all the weight on, and he still beats us. Yeah. Downhill. After five minutes, you cannot see the tower because. Oh, he's gonna sway us over. Oh. That's actually kind of sketchy. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Oh boy, don't fall. Namaste. Jeez. Another circle. We've officially come full circle. This is the route we took, what, six days ago? Yeah. To Gokyo. See you, Sam, doing it again. This is the start of the uphill, but also where we're splitting. Most people will go this way to base camp. We are going to Gokyo first. And this is the route we just came up. So we've met back up at the spot where we originally split up. That means we're close. One hour, that's easy. Easy. One hour for Namjik. Everest base camp, 21 hours. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. We, we, we walk we started trekking at 7.30 this morning. It is now 7 p.m. The sun has gone down, which means that we've trekked for 11 and a half hours and 20 miles. We made it to Namche. Nice job, guys. Did it. Woo! -hoo. That is a good feeling to accomplish. d -Lock said in the hundreds of times he's gone to base camp, this is only the second time he's trekked this far from Gorakshep to Namche in one day. So. I'm feeling proud of us right now, guys. I'm this... very proud. Namaste. Thank you, D-Lock. Uh, we did it at uh, Namche. No. What a beautiful sight that is. All right, let's Woo, get to the tea house. <laughs> we came back to the tea house and D-Lock had banana chocolate cake from the bakery down the road and hot chocolate waiting for us. We love you, D-Lock. <laughs> yeah.